<laughs> Don't let what we think is better rough your feathers. Opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody has one. From left to right, we got straight shot, no chaser. Brandy Danielle in the building. We got LeBrain James Piezilla in the building. We got Black Jesus Arco in the building. God we got the y'all. returning future teller main event, Yay Uso in Yo. the building. And last but certainly not least, we got City of Gems video production on Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. <laughs> now I need one time for the queen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, motherfucker. Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boy. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello there. <coughs> yeah, yep. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? Cooling, cooling. Good, good. You no. Know, it could be all right. It could be all right, you know. Mike. Another day. <laughs> Another day. Holiday season. What about you, Chuck? How you feeling, big dog? Tired. As fuck, huh? <laughs> any any special news? Anybody? Anything important? Anybody that did, then experienced, and <clears throat> achieved anything? Mm-mm. Let's just get this holiday season over with. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. I'm with you on that. Yeah, get through it for sure. Please. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, where y'all want to take it? Y'all want to get into some talk? What the fuck? Do y'all want to get into some topics? Where do, y'all, where do y'all want to steer this pod first? Of course, I love topics. Man. Love talking shit. Mm-hmm. All right. Why not, why not start with my boy Iron Mike, man? <sighs> mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. I oh. guess we might as well get to why the elephant not? in the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You said go ahead. So before we get to the Mike Tyson fight, did y'all watch all the other fights? Oh, yeah. Man. You know I did. I'm, I missed them. I watched. I watched Amanda. Man. Oh no, I did see so that. She was, have you, Have you seen? I just want to know before we but, get into it. Have y'all seen? How many did you see them all, or did you? I did not see them all. I didn't see them all. So you saw Tyson and like Amanda. I, I fell asleep and I was waking up. You know what I mean? You type see? shit. But now nah, I was driving home from my nephew's game, and I just caught the Mike Tyson fight as soon as I got home. So the last the the, the fight right before that. I, I watched all of them. That's my dog. Yeah. yeah, I watched all of them. Uh, and I gotta say, I wasn't mad at the fights before the Tyson and uh, Logan fight. Yeah. Word. But yeah, one of the pops. Word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, I think my favorite fight besides that one was probably the one that you was just about to bring up man that one that was so intense bro oh yeah the ladies did oh man that fight Boy, was so intense I'm yeah, talking yep. about, they beat each other's ass yeah mm. yep. <laughs> that one was fun to watch um what do y'all think about the outcome the decision of the actual mm-hmm. fight i ain't like it they robbed a real winner mm-hmm. uh I, I did say that um amanda serrano got got cheated uh, going back and watching it, Amanda need to work on her defense. Yeah. She definitely need to work on her defense. Uh, shout out to Katie, though. That big neck Katie. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Big neck Katie. Ooh. Her defense don't excuse foul play. Big head. I mean, because the head butts. Not head even the Katie. head butts. Yeah. At certain points, she was taking that braid. You know how the braid is weaved like that? Rubbing she that cut. Brushing it against Rubbing their shit. Cut. Like, Man, what? To open it. I saw as soon as she started doing it. Me I'm too. like, what are you... Hey, fighters got to get that off. I was about to say, I I like that. For sure, but there's rules to said sport, and that's against one of them, I know. She took that big-ass head, rubbed that cut every chance she could. Boy, that motherfucker looked like another eye was like... Ooh. But she yeah, kept fighting. She kept she fighting, though. Started, that girl kept fighting. Bruh, did you yeah, see it when they was, like, <laughs> squeezing it together and that motherfucker just kept <laughs> flopping open? Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and I was, I was rooting for Amanda, too, man. Like, y'all, like, dang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was their uh, their second fight. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, overall, I mean, both women, to me, really won because uh, they got six bands. I mean, I said six bands. Six, six. million apiece. And I applied that, mm-hmm. but... 
when it comes down to the actual fight, the person I feel like I can only say what I feel. I feel like the person that was supposed to win didn't win. Yeah. This was a good thing for women's boxing. 50 million people tuned in to see these two women fight. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, the quote don't even the, the quote Clarissa Shields don't even get those type of numbers. Yeah. She's not even getting that type of money and she's the quote. So, I mean, both women, you know, came out with a, a W and they both still got yeah. It was a W for women boxing all together. Yeah, Shadeja Green. Mm-hmm. She she nice uh, too, look. That, I wasn't I impressed. Know, you you not in, but I've seen her I've seen her fight before, you know. Plenty of times, and she really got some rockers on her, though. Like, she got some room rockers on her. I ain't gonna lie, man. Punches was a little bit slow. She got some heat. I wasn't too much impressed. She yeah. kind of reminded me of another Clarissa. I'm Thank looking you. for the actual undercard so I don't say the other people's name wrong. Shout out to Shoe Shoe. Because I watched all of them, but I ain't gonna sit here and act like I remember all the niggas' names. Yeah. Shout out to Shoe Shoe. <laughs> Shoe Shoe was on. Um, he was on the YouTube because they they did the the undercards mm-hmm. on uh, the prelims on YouTube for free. So shout out to Shushu, he did his thing too. Oh, uh, he was able to stream all the fights up until yeah, like up until um oh, I forgot his name um the, the Indian last guy. Hmm. Huh. The last four that were yeah. on Netflix. Yeah. Okay. I can't find the undercard. Like, oh, can you pull up the undercard for me? Because what's my boy name that looked like a Latin Rocky Marciano? Uh, the Indian guy. Uh, he was the champion. He was fighting. Uh, I think it was the fight right before Amanda and Katie. Hold on. It was uh, Barrios versus Ramos. Oh, Barrios was yeah. Mario Barrios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mario Barrios. At yeah. the, the first two rounds of that fight, I just yeah. knew that it was gonna be a one-sided mm-hmm. fight. Yeah. He he put him down in both rounds. Yeah. But as the fight went on, dude's unorthodox style was really starting to. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. As that was the uh, the guy was in the like the pink yeah. mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I did see that. Before. All right. Mm-hmm. Tank won that, by the way. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tank fan here. Um, but ain't him fighting Tank then showed him some shit. Yeah, I feel like all op- opponents that Tank has defeated, like they they, they have up their game. You feel me? But yeah, Mario's Barrios, that was a hell of a good fight. Mm-hmm. Hell of a good fight. Buddy, fast as hell too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There wasn't a single knockout on the whole card. I know. That's crazy. Weak as fuck. I know. I mean, like not even in the prelims. She was talking about on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Everything was a decision. We can mm-hmm. fuck. I'm not mad at it, to be honest. Yeah. I like to see fights that go the distance. Uh, like I said, it, just give me a good show. I'm, I'll be cool. Yeah, like, everything don't need to be a I, knockout. I don't, yeah, it ain't got to be that serious would, all the time. I would like to see one though. <laughs> yeah. Can I somebody <laughs> somebody on, do it for me? It depends on the type of opponent that you have. Like that's why a lot of guys go in there and end up getting knocked out because they want to go in there and rush to get the knockout. You know yeah. who probably waiting for the next motherfucker to get knocked out more than anybody? Who? Nate Robinson. Uh oh. Oh yeah, you already know, boy. Till this day, he still Ooh, has the wee. most fucked up knockout. Ooh. That I'd have ever seen a celebrity take. He said, looking for revenge. Right. <laughs> Get up. I'm, boy, mm. them memes that they was creating yeah. for dude. Yeah, yeah. Was, that was something serious. Man, he, yeah. Internet was undefeated. Man, listen. He, he waiting for him somebody to get their ass put down. All right, um, I know it was one more fight before that fight, but let's go ahead and get to the, the, the matter at hand. Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. I said the right one this time, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, how do y'all feel about that fight? I'm sorry about that shit. It little, uh, I was they, 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 the storyline fits. I seen you know some what videos. I mean? What happened? But they, but if that's the whatever. case. They should have took that shit to WrestleMania. Yeah, because yeah. I watched that fight. Back in a lot of slow, uh, slow motion spots, 
Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson is literally pulling his punches. Mm-hmm. Like he won the th- that's what yeah. I feel like that's why he got the bite in that glove. Like I agree. Mm-hmm. I'll say, I'll yeah. say yeah, that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say that he's a monster. <clears throat> he had it some way tone himself down. It was Man. eating at him. I feel like that too. At first, when I first watched it, I was like, oh my God, Mike. Like, like what the is first going two on? Rounds, Where'd your that leg first round, go? Ooh, that, that first round gave him some heat, didn't it? Boy, you see him go for that yeah. ball and it was they like, like, hey, yo, Mike, chill. That yeah, ain't like, no script. That ain't the yeah, script, Mike. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> so after, I'm like you twin after going back and watching and yeah, I think Mike was holding back. Mm-hmm. He's so it was, mm-hmm. yeah. I, so, I was really more upset with Netflix. That too. I mean, you talking like, about because Mike of took that. the deal though. I mean, I don't no. know. Like, you talking about how it crashed like that? How many times it crashed? They didn't every expect that. On- yeah, they didn't. Expect I didn't know that. if it was just happening to me or what. I thought the act. I had to too. back out and go was, back in it multiple times. Yeah, real you talk. Too. Netflix was wasn't where ready where for what. That shit. They didn't realize, like, like even though they knew the star power, they didn't (laughs) understand the star power. Mm -hmm. That's why I hope they have their shit together by the time January comes. Yeah, me too. Because if they fuck up a raw or boy. What? Boy. What? Christmas NFL games they got to worry about before that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That too. I don't think. That's good practice. I don't think a raw or Christmas NFL, whatever game on Netflix is going to accumulate to. You can't mess up the Christmas NFL. Ain't going to hold you. Let me tell you why I think it will. Hold on. No. Not just WrestleMania. You know how WWE give it up when they premiering something. Yeah, yeah. They bring in the bit. They bring in their big guns out and they going to make it a a big deal. You feel me? Sure. I, I, this is when John Cena go on his farewell farewell tour. I, I bet you will start on Raw. Yep, the you feel Rock me? Coming back. The Rock gonna come back. You see what I'm saying? Like they got Travis Scott coming. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. They gave so Travis right Scott there. the new Scott hardcore, hardcore championship. championship. I, I and that bitch look raw. Word. That will not compare to seeing a global boxing icon <clears throat> that has you have not been yeah. able to see fight in years. He's Mike got Tyson, the old <laughs> boxing heads. <laughs> Some of us millennials, a lot of us millennials that grew up watching him as kids in the 90s. Plus, mm-hmm. you got new kids that been hearing the word about him that's going to see him for the first time. It was a whole big spectacle that will never compare to seeing wrestlers that come back every single year for special events for WrestleMania or whatever. No, I'm sorry. I agree. I'm sorry. That was a once in a lifetime thing. I'm not going to just Tyson. count the devil Mike, like yeah, me out like that. Yeah, but well, that's Mike never Tyson, count. though. Like, go you, on. Shit. So Mike Tyson, like, fuck around and be there. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Probably. We talking about WWE. But, yeah, he's going to be there, like, but we talking about him, people seeing him fighting. That's what I'm saying. Like, that shit. shit didn't count, what we just saw? It definitely just counted because it that broke the goddamn internet. It broke the internet. It 100% counted. It hey, definitely so, counted. That's an mm-hmm. L for Tyson. For sure. I get that. Right? Not, I get that. But what I'm saying, y'all talking about the experience, bro. That shit ain't the Mike Tyson we know. That nigga, do you realize how much money that Jake Paul and them, they broke the fucking internet, Exactly. Dog. And that's all we talking about. We not talking about Mike Tyson really being able to knock that nigga the fuck out. We just said he was pulling his punches. And y'all talking about an experience. That wasn't an experience. Obviously it was because all these uh, people tried to watch it and they broke the damn internet. Well, sports was. betting and everything. But well, hello. I ain't gonna the lie. Numbers don't lie. I so won I a couple of dollars off Dick. I should I, I should have bet. <laughs> I did. I, I bet for both of them. You know how I lost. Yeah. But let's be real, this 27 year old did knock out Mike. A 58 year old. He didn't prove anything. He did yeah. All we really. all we <laughs> learned, in my opinion, is that Mike Tyson's too old to box. Mm. Well, yeah, of course he's too old, but... Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, when you, uh, when you look at his training, was... when you look at his training, it's like, man, he's supposed to be moving out there. Like, what is this? But he's he act like he... Six, seven, yeah, he act like eight, he just put the walker down and got out there. You know what I mean? Like, this ain't the Mike Tyson I was looking at training in the gym. Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. All I definitely learned was Mike Tyson that, got like, paid to take a dive. That's, that's all I learned. And it looked like it, because like I said... I don't give a fuck. He was look like he looked like his his foot was stuck in the mud. Like, like that boy, that fight. And he was he was, hurt, he was terrible at throwing yeah. the fight too. I ain't gonna make no excuses for Mike Tyson, but what what I will say is last week I told BZ I like the WWE anyway. I like storytelling. You see, <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I feel like either way it would have went, it would have been written like that. Because even if Mike Tyson would have won, the stipulation would have been just don't knock him out. Just like Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul. I'm going to say this. Mike Tyson walked away with $20 million. How many of y'all favorite by, uh, fighters is making that type of money? Hello. Shit, Mike Jake Tyson Paul is, is paying more. Fighter. Jake Paul paid more. He paid more uh, money to fighters than other promotions. PBC, uh, Top Rank, Matchroom, The Zone. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, I mean, y'all, let's talk about did it. y'all see the video? <laughs> did y'all see the video um, where Mike Tyson inter- did the interview with that little girl? About legacy. Yeah. And you heard what he said then, like, at the end of the day, this shit that we call legacy don't mean shit. At the yeah, man, be dead and gone. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. So he said it means nothing, man. Everybody won because Brandy's yeah. right. Nobody got knocked out, and everybody walked away with a healthy Real bag. bag. A mm-hmm. Healthy bag. So kudos to them. Except Amanda, though. But whatever. That's yeah, that ain't gonna lie. I was more bullshit. disappointed in in her not winning yeah. than the Mike Tyson Jake Paul fight. A lot of people should uh said that should have been the main event. Hey, it, it it was for me anyways. Like a lot of people said that. Yeah. I was laughing at the Tyson fight. Like and then the interview, man, come on, why he pull his chops out, man? That was I some bullshit. I loved it. That was old my hey, man. I said, man, come on, man. I said, man. he ain't going to lose. Uh, man, I, I, boy, he I knew showing, he was losing. He showing that. his I ass. Said, <laughs> I know he ain't going <laughs> to lose. Smack the shit out of the dude. When, man, that's what? old Mike, y'all. I loved it, especially when he got up there to do the weigh-in, and he grabbed his junk and his Versace drop. Bruh, I was like, this <laughs> motherfucker, man. He smacking niggas, grabbing his dick in front yeah, of people. That's old this Mike. motherfucker you acting crazy. Me. What, what was crazy is, is when that man bought him a pigeon and he told his ass he was going to feed it to his falcon. So, <laughs> 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 yeah, this nigga Mike Tyson mm-hmm. is in rare form. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. So, yeah. It is what it is, Mike. For sure, sure. All righty then. Charlotte Hornets guard LaMelo Ball has been fined $100,000 for using what the NBA called an offensive and derogatory comment following his team's 115-114 win over the Milwaukee Bucks on Saturday. Mm. Interviewed on the Hornets' local FanDuel Sports Network, the 2022 All-Star was asked about how the team defended Giannis, you know his last name, Mm. on the Bucks' last possession of the game. He said, yeah, we loaded up. No homo. Ball replied, but that's what we wanted. Put the hand up and then just live with the results. Following the Hornets' 128-114 loss to the unbeaten Cleveland Cavaliers on Sunday night, the 23-year-old spoke on the incident. So Before big. we hold on, no, this is no. the last part that I'm gonna let you go. Before we get started, I just want to address the comment yesterday. Yesterday, he told reporters per AP, I really didn't mean anything by it, and don't want to offend anybody. I've got love for everybody, and I do not discriminate. Okay, mm. well, it's 2024. Nobody even say that anymore. It's two things that he could have said instead of that. Mm-hmm. No, did he? No, pa- did he? No, pause. Diddy. I was gonna say mm-hmm. pause, and then I was gonna say the newer is no Diddy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you would have been cool, but come on, bro, no yeah. homo. Yeah, like, I know you what? got. Come on, bro. I know you got a uh, what's it called, a publicist or somebody. Yeah, or, what is it called where they help you with your 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 training, like PR training? Mm-hmm. I know you got something fun. like My that. My boy need a software update. Yeah. <laughs> he running on old software, right. saying no homo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad for him because shoot, them niggas got the money for it. I mean, but you're fine. You're getting a new better. That's that's a little soft to me, man. The world is soft now. Yeah, it's soft as Comedy can't be what it used to be. Bernie Mac could never exist in today's comedy. No, no. That's the softest shit ever, man. Like a hundred thousand to like. I just what? told y'all the story that happened to me. If I would have messed up, that could have been my job. I'm making sure you feel me. If my little old self that ain't making that money that he get or being around, you know, public relation type people to train you, if I could do it, why the hell his ass can't do it? Facts. If I knew, Pay that fact. If I knew he shouldn't <laughs> have said that and you knew he shouldn't have said that, 
he knew he shouldn't have fucking said that. It ain't no yeah. difference than when we talk about um, what's the um, is is Brittany Griner? What is she now? What's her? We get it. Whenever she went over there with that weed vape, or John Morant kept getting on the internet with a gun, and you know better, and you know they watching you, and they waiting mm-hmm. for you to fuck up. Yeah, Don't sure. give them a reason. Yeah, for sure. So, he ain't lying. Like, <laughs> he ain't lying. Lord have mercy. Sure, you didn't but... proofread that shit before you said. <laughs> I wonder what his daddy said to you. To said to him. Don't worry about it, son. Don't worry about it, son. We got it. That ain't nothing. Fuck it. Send Big baller brand. Send him 200,000. <laughs> Fuck it. Man, what? <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, Fuck him. Fuck the NBA. You could have gave that to your brother. <laughs> Fuck the NBA. <laughs> Quit cussing on camera, boy. You could have gave that to your brother. <laughs> he using slurs. The other brother stealing watches and shit. What's wrong with him? Niggas goofy. Mm, dang. A bunch of fucking goofies. Gots to do better. I ain't gonna lie, that boy paid though. Have y'all seen the car he drive? Which one? Nah, what is it? Boy, this got like it boy got like a a 2005 GMC. Uh, what the 2005? Some 25. It, it got the nah, bro. It it's, be souped it's up. Some, it's, oh, he turned it up. It's souped up. You think it's souped up? You wait. You that thing look old? Then boy, that thing look old. Like. Put the lawnmower in the back. Let's go cut the grass. You feel me? Like, nah, I doubt that. Man, he probably bro. listen. He probably kept. That's probably like one of his first cars that he kept. Lamella. He's talking. Oh, not Lamella, but uh, Giannis. Excuse me. Oh yeah, but, I can uh, see Giannis. that. He's a weirdy. <laughs> He's a foreigner. I can see that. Uh oh, hundred thousand dollar fine. That boy got. I said foreigner. <laughs> about his <laughs> hundred thousand dollar fine. <laughs> <laughs> talking about his nationality. Good thing you ain't on no contract. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I don't know. Cut different might have one. Yeah, I'm saying he's not, he ain't <laughs> from here. There's anything wrong with him calling him that. <laughs> ain't nothing funnier than watching I um, make a racial slur. Tony Khan mess that man's name up. Who? Uh, Giannis. Antetokounmpo. Y'all said that shit flawlessly. I don't he say I don't even say I might mess it up. Teddy in. Shoot, Teddy in. Teddy in. Teddy in. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. You have to get the MB in there. Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo. That's all this shit. Antetokounmpo. That sounds like some damn King Tut type shit. Yeah, yep. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I want to find that clip where he say his name and he butcher his shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, who? That's why I didn't even want to say his name now whenever we were just talking about him. I say Giannis. You know his last name. He said, I don't think it knew yeah, both. <laughs> I, I, I forgot how to say it that quick. Yeah, him. I still can't say to his last name. Tug of I think so. <laughs> Let me see. Mm-hmm. I'm not Fuck sure. Fuck that. You know, I... I <laughs> you know, I... Listen. Uh, Nico <laughs> E.M.I. Liava. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I can't, I'm not making this up. For uh, AEW Rampage, ladies and gentlemen, the Greek freak! Y'all <laughs> He kind of got it. <laughs> no, he did not, bro. That boy. He gave, he gave the fuck up at the end. He I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I can't, I'm not making this up. For uh, AEW Rampage, Man, ladies Listen and gentlemen, straight up, he the out. Greek freak. Y'all have to take a I got to take a poo poo. I got to take a poo poo. That nigga said, Giannis, I got to take a poo poo. God damn, Tony. You had one uh, job. Shit, man. You had one job. Damn, Tony. One see? motherfucking job. Vince would never. Hey, he definitely that bailed out on that. Like That's funny. Said, nah, that tickles me. Nah, Vince would have been like, <laughs> Vince would have been like, my nigga. <laughs> What's up? My nigga. <laughs> All right. Young Thug sued by AEG for over $5.25 million. Rapper accused of defaulting on loan after receiving 16 mil in publishing deal. Mm-mm-mm. AEG be- claims that they entered an agreement with Thugger in 2017 with the Atlanta native receiving a $5.25 million loan. 
Reports claim that the, rap the rapper later relinquishing the copyrights to a portion of his music has collateral for the unpaid loan. However, a part of the deal, AEG received exclusive global rights to promote his live shows. The suit stems from Thugger vowing to pay off the loan with interest. However, he allegedly defaulted on the loan and sold off the copyright stakes to over 400 of his works in 2021. Per the lawsuit, AEG is seeking a $5.25 million loan thug with interest, plus all earnings the rapper received from the publishing sale. Mm, well, man, it be yeah. all right. Better get in that studio, boy. Come I'm up with some new shit. You know what I mean? I'm on a hater store this episode. Pay that goddamn money. I don't give a <laughs> damn. You ain't going to have to. Yeah, I don't care. I'm sorry. Thug right now is not on my, uh, he's, he's not on my good side right now. Talk about kicking them white no, down though. This Shit. No, this See, you get that lucky to get up out of you. You get that lucky to get up out of prison. What they give them like fifteen years of probation, and the first thing you want to do is get up on dog on Twitter and start talking this gang shit all over again. Mm -hmm. No man, no. Nah. He did what? Hold on. He was the, he did some yeah, tweet little, and delete. Little, yeah, yeah, little snippet. You hear me? First, I know you seen where he said uh, gonna. Quit acting like you know. Quit acting like you know me in these streets. You don't know me, my boy, or some shit like that. And uh, the tweet was. Uh, he said, "Yeah, let's back. drop, let's drop one on these rats." Uh, yeah. Wham. Yeah. Said something about the plea deal. Like, nah, man. Yeah, I got a plea deal the right way when he was in a video with Ti. This is what I want to know about the loan. I want to know how many years he had to pay the loan back, and if because that make a stopped. difference. Because if he was in jail. Around the time he was supposed to pay the loan back, Thanks. he kind of got a case and like you know what I mean, trying yeah, to square that away. Back. That's what I was I was thinking like too. Like I can only, I I can only handle so much business from inside this motherfucker. That part. That's crazy. He just got out and like, well, we gave him. Well, he got away with uh being in prison. Let's hit him with some. Well, let's get. Let's take business. his money. Fuck yeah. it. OJ effect. I'm telling you, they gonna mm -hmm. get you one way or another. Right. Mm -hmm. They gonna make that man hurt. That's he crazy. got away from him, and they gonna make him violate somehow. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's years, already hard years. enough. Yeah. They gonna make him. They gonna let him stay out for uh, 14 years and make him violate. Thug better yeah. do some gospel rap. His ass better go, go become a <laughs> Buddhist monk. Man, Get with Kirk Franklin. Go. Okay. <laughs> Thug it out for Jesus. Oh, <laughs> the talking to God. It you know what I mean? <laughs> Sit the fuck down and act like he on house arrest and drop his music from the crib. Boy, it's time to start Stay ghostwriting. Get out the way. Get all your gangster shit through somebody. Man, what? <coughs> They'll come up with a protege, yeah. So, do y'all think at any point Young Thug is going to uh, try to play with uh, Gunner and his contract? Yeah, that's why he told him in court. Like, yeah, I still want to be able to just so we can have ownership of that nigga. I mean, he contractually signed to him regardless. Fact. But it's probably so he can taunt him while he fuck him over. The, like the whole thing is just weird because his didn't his dad didn't Young Thug's dad he was at give Gunna uh uh love and props. Well, he was at his show for sure. Yeah, Turned like mm -hmm. it's, it's just yeah. weird to me. Then the yeah. dad also went off on Ti not too long ago that he's getting clouded off a of thug by you know. But Probably Thug shy. was just at that man's house. Like, they were just kicking it. How is you? saying. It's so weird. Sometimes Parents. you got to tell a parent to file the, the fuck, fuck back. back. Mm, yeah. That's crazy. Because I just seen that on the that's pod crazy. where he was he was talking about, the, I don't know. Because you only crazy. speaking from the eyes of a parent. Like, mm. you mm -hmm. you know how you might have a friend that your your mama don't like, and she be like, I don't like him. He ain't no good for you. He ain't a real friend. And all this mm -hmm. is, but that's, that's what your it, dog, though. You yeah, that's I mean? what it like, feel like. Yeah. Like, dude. <laughs> But a lot of times, let's be honest. A lot of yeah. times, parents do. Parents right. be right. They be right. Mo hey, man, real talk. Be right. So I don't know. It's a whole weird relationship with him and Gunner. That I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. It seemed like a soap opera. Mm. That's what this court has been the whole time. Down there. And Woody was the comedic relief. Like you know how you need that one funny motherfucker to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I ain't gonna lie, he helped out so much. <laughs> but <laughs> that loudness and confusion was crazy. I'm saying yeah. though, like, but at the same time, he's partially the reason that they was there going through what they was going through to begin with. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah. Whenever one of my kids get bad grades 
and then they get their gra- grades up. Like they've correct. They, you feel me? I don't reward them for doing something that they should have been doing to begin with. Your, ba- your grade right. should have never got bad to right. begin with. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not going to like, Hey, give you some money because you improved. You should have never fell off to begin with. So it's like, mm-hmm. even though you helped at the end, like mm-hmm. nigga, we wouldn't be in this situation. Mm-hmm. Partially, if you wouldn't have been telling when it out, you feel man, me? Man. So it's like, yeah, that's cool that he did that, but I'm pretty sure because it's still niggas fighting. <clears throat> yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody didn't take a plea deal, mm. so yeah. Why he ain't saying nothing towards the other dudes that that snitch? He, you better not try to get it. I seen you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, but what you mean? Like who yeah, else? I mean, he. he the only he? person he had, wanted to talk to was his brother. What do you think he got to say to his brother? What type of deal did his brother take? It's he a took a plea deal dudes, too, right? It's a couple of YSL dudes. It, I, See, everybody I else up. who I saw take a plea deal except Gunner got some years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was a couple YSL members that did snitch. I can't remember their names. But like, yeah, this is a soap opera. Cause why are you only saying something to Gunner? Gunner only weren't worth talking about. We don't know them and other it, niggas. And, and that was public. Like they, feel me? they made That's a, 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 a mm-hmm. spectacle out of yeah. Gunner. You feel me? That's another thing. Y- Even when he was L. Woody, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is, he's the one on video snitching on Young Thug. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Why I ain't said nothing to Woody? Yeah. Sure. Woody is still doing um, podcasts right now. Because Woody was in court saying Woody that did. he lied about all that shit. Woody okay. just got you a know big why? ass I'm house. I'm just saying, don't though. Listen. You said, but you Big asked, ass house. I'm saying, you said listen. why he ain't saying nothing to him because That's shit. Crazy. That nigga went on the stand and said, shit, I lied about all that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He still, he still was. Telling for sure, but you ever at seen the, the end of the that's day, what, that's what I was saying. Like, facts, you don't right. reward somebody yeah, for, for sure, you don't reward him, but yeah. shit. damn near. Uh, you, you ever seen you uh, didn't finish the deed, you didn't kill me, you you didn't kill me, you, you didn't never, put you me in the coffin. The, the, the second you uh, got Godfather, me out that motherfucker at the end, you ever seen even Godfather though you did that, yeah, I seen all three two. of them. Yeah, I seen all three of them. You remember when I forgot what his name is, he was snitching our raid to the feds on Michael Corleone. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. But when Michael Corleone made sure they went to go get his mama all the way in, in Sicily to bring her to court, mm-hmm. and that nigga went up on the stand. His brother. He he pulled his brother. Seen, oh, mm-hmm. it was the yeah, brother. Yeah, he brought his brother right. and made his My brother bad. look My at bad. him in his eyes while he was on the stand. And he, he changed like, up. Facts. Mm-hmm. It don't even matter, nigga. You it still did. was. You still snitched we on me. Ne- we should have mm-hmm. never got to this point. Yeah. Facts. You did more than but gonna. Right now, I'm so hot. I can't even gonna. speak on that. I'm so hot. I got exactly. 15 years probation. Yeah, what I'm gonna say to him? And that's exactly he why. He talking about Gunner is a rat. He doing shit already. He deleted it. He, he know he fucked up, but you cannot he delete. He's not gonna kill Gunner. My whole thing is he probably should have never said any of that Hello. to begin with, especially yeah. because at the For end sure. of the day. Gunna is still your cash cow. Hello. Facts. The, the last Facts. thing you want to do yeah. is turn the public against him. Yeah. 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 Fuck you Facts. mean. That's why I said, do you think eventually it's going to come to a point to where he get to dicking him around with his contract? Like, oh yeah, the, them last three albums that you put out, we count them as EPs. Yep. And we still need five albums from you. But I got mm. eight other artists that's about to come out that I'm working on. So you... We going to find you it. it depends on what's in that contract. Here. I can see it if he cool down. Milk him like that. <laughs> hey, if he cool down. It depends Not on crazier than you almost getting and jammed up. And you got to do two and, joint albums. I don't you got to find somebody. <laughs> and there's two joint albums in the contract. You better find somebody that want to do an album with you, nigga. It depends on two, what's no, in that contract. No, two joint albums with me. Fuck you talking about. Nah, we been had ours. Ours, our contract already solidified on that. You know, we've been had ours. I dropped that under my name. It's really featuring Gunner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You owe me two joint app projects with me, and guess mm-hmm. who's super busy and ain't got time to do a joint project? <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute, boy. A long minute, boy. <laughs> For real. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It depends on what's in that contract. Now, if he already didn't let them other mixtapes and albums slide, they can't do that. It depends. Shout out to Gunner though, because yeah, he was still making. You the only motherfucker from from that uh, crew that was making money. <laughs> exactly, and that was the point I was trying to make when you said, "Why is he only talking to him?" Because he's the only one worth fucking talking to, publicly. 
Woody did worse. And Woody. All Gunner said was, uh, "Yes, ma'am." Was a game, yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. There but, you go. He didn't even say all that. But listen, said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Woody's not a rapper. Woody is Woody not is a, a mother. rapper. Man, not for, no, not on the scale a of couple Gunner. rap songs. I'm about to say, I don't know him yeah. as a rapper. Woody all right. Woody mid. Woody all right. Woody mid. That's Woody's that's, a comedian that's mid. now. All right, it's get, mid. Get this nigga, Woody. Woody's a comedian now. Now he'll tell yeah. you. <laughs> He don't even want to be referred to as a killer. Nah, I'm not a killer, boy. When them demons is in you, you know what I'm saying? But that ain't me. <laughs> tell you quick. That nigga getting rich out 20 V1s. Mm -hmm. But if I really wanted to do something to somebody, I wouldn't tell nobody. I hope not. Especially not fucking Twitter. Eventually. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I might get on here and play with Gunner all day. We know ain't nobody going to do nothing to Gunner. That's we need cool. that bread. Eventually. But, that's if I want, if I want Woody hit, I won't even want him to know it's coming. Oh no, that's gonna that's a couple years down the road. It ain't saying. even nothing you do to him right so now. Why speak on mm -hmm. me. Let his internet fame cool down a little bit me? and then pick that him like a cherry. That shit gonna die down like a motherfucker. <laughs> you hear me? That pick, shit gonna die down like a motherfucker. Pick him off. It's gonna be easy to get him. He's gonna be right back in the hood. Easy. Yeah, he already in the hood. Like <laughs> he be like nah, Woody. He, yeah, that's by choice though. Yeah. You got to think he got to be doing a shitload for his community for him to get that type of love like that. But dude got a big ass house now. Ride mm -hmm. foreign and all types of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because they mad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Donald Trump has announced yet another nomination. This time he wants WWE <laughs> co-founder Linda McMahon to lead the Department of Education. According to NBC News, Trump spoke about his decision and said, as, secret as Secretary of Education, Linda will fight tirelessly to expand choice to every state in America and empower parents to make the best education decisions for their families. This man has went bonkers. What's wrong with Linda? <laughs> Linda McMahon what? leading the education department? What? But we don't know Linda McMahon's background outside of wrestling. Linda, Thanks. I Linda need to sit up for Linda shit. Linda McMahon, do that's shit. That's the problem. I need. That's the problem. <laughs> the no, last like that's the problem. No, that's y'all problem. The last secretary of, of uh, Linda education, McMahon, do fired. shit. That's what I was about to say. Outside Man. of, she just throw her money around. She, Linda no, was Vince uh, McMahon do that. You but, don't know what the fuck. Yeah, I was just about to say. Go ahead. You, tell me about it. I was about to say, bro, where you getting your information from? Tell me. I. I'm just time out. Time out. We about to get into some real shit right here. Chuck, fact check me. Didn't Linda work up under, uh, was it George Bush's uh, cabinet? Or I'm actually looking it up right now. Or maybe I it was Trump. She had like a background in. Yeah, like, that's why That's why they dumbed the down wrestling. Hold, hold on. Let, or the, what'd you say, Chuck? The Small Business Administration from 17 to 19. That's as far. I'm just now starting to read about what her background is, but it seems like she might be one of the most qualified people he's nominated so far. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's you, what I said. What's wrong with Linda? You just can't base. I just, that's what I just gave y'all. That's why I said fact check, uh, fact check me, Chuck. She already worked up under administration for a president already. I'm not sure if it was Trump or if it was Bush. I, I already know that part. However, let's get to the facts. Uh Trump's, I think, matter of fact, I think it was Bush, because Trump's uh, last Secretary of Education, he had to uh, fire their behalf. We are talking about Linda McMahon, the same woman that was in a doggone wheelchair letting uh, Trish Stratus kiss on Vince right in front of her. She was playing a character. I'm about to say, yeah. that's a story. But that's... She was playing a character. I mean, who? who what education? It's not Linda's what? fault that her husband is really a freaky ass nigga. Linda don't have school. no background in education, y'all. You did you just say she worked uh, for Bush? Look, she she did. She That's, was appointed to the state board of education in Connecticut in 2009. Huh? I'm telling you, I think she, she has might to be one of the most qualified. qualified. That's what I said. Linda he, knew he, he she was to. just playing a character on yeah, that's TV. What I'm saying. Like, Let's see how it goes. Kane is the Let's mayor. See how it goes. Kane is the mayor of a city. Oh, but, hey, and but quit. Hey, <laughs> hey I was just man. About to say Kane oh, is man. a real so, life mayor. But so, he used to shoot fire out his hands. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. I'm sorry to interrupt, but well, since you guys are talking WWE mm -hmm. and all that, when she went onto the Board of Education in Connecticut, she had to um, go in for some questioning about her relationship with the WWE and everything. And after that, the state approved her 34 to 1. So only one person had a problem with it. For them running their state board, so I think she might be qualified to do. How do you? Think I don't you know what she to wants to do. Though. I think what that's when wrestling went to PG. Be the state, uh, just the state board. 
Like that ain't nothing really, bro. She that, played a character on TV. Bruh, that, she had a real life going on in the background. Like, <laughs> they can you, give her a certificate. She had to go say, to school to get man, qualifications exactly. for the job, bro. She she got she went to school. See, like they go, they gave you, her a certificate. You're not even giving her she, the benefit she of the doubt. Percent man, in 2010. I'm not giving her that credit. Facts, I'm sorry, and that's bro. for you. But why though? That. Why I'm aren't sorry. you giving her that credit? Because all he sees is the woman Stop. in I the want, wheelchair. Bro, no, you I know how many, his answer. Because it's so many people in Congress, bro, who don't have the certifications that they need, and they just. You know what I'm saying? Put the people on and put people in position to do certain things, bro. And this is just another example of that, bro. Like that's just how I feel. You feel like Linda McMahon? McMahon they bought their way. Like, yeah. There, there we go. Arc. That's just how I feel about it. Like she was the sorry. She not was sorry. The State Board of Education almost over ten years ago. Y'all know she wasn't always a McMahon. She wasn't born a McMahon. She got married into that family. You don't yeah. think she had an education or background okay. before okay. she met okay. Vince McMahon? Okay. That could be okay. also true as well. Even Vince McMahon didn't grow up a McMahon. He lived in a fucking trailer park and got beat by a dude. He didn't even know his daddy was his daddy until he was grown. It's all true and well. And, that's what, and he turned into so a freaky ass nigga 69 guy. Now, before as Linda, <laughs> if she I can was dig qualified it, in 2009, that Netflix that thing all the experience. For sure, but she still had the most likely to do what it takes to get that job, and she held that shit down. Apparently, what's up, Chuck? Did she get fired from any of this shit, Chuck? No, no, she, man, she. So she, when she started out as a paralegal, she was translating she was French, French documents into English, and these are legal documents, so they're not. It's not just Google Translate. I mean, this is in 1976, so that didn't even exist. <laughs> Come on, um, bro. Right. And okay. she did a lot of this while she was pregnant with Stephanie. Okay. Home, so why didn't she pr pursue this even more instead of because going she, into the family business? See, what do, what do most wives to, do? What do most wives do whenever their husband has something like that going on? Do they not usually put themselves on the back burner for the family business? Oh, these student loans. I'm asking a question. She probably. Uh, I'm at, hold on. Those I want an answer to the question that I just asked. Some of them do. Most of them so do. Right. Right. I think it's done, but some of them. I, I, I ain't ask you what you personally think. I yeah. just ask you what statistically what we know to happen, mm -hmm. and that's usually whenever a woman got something going on, and a man got something going on, they start to take off. Usually that woman falls back on whatever she got going on to help push her man to the forefront. That's where the the quote come behind every strong man. Mm -hmm. It's a what strong woman. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. So mm -hmm. I, I'll just say this. I, I, I just want to say, let's wait and see how these uh, four years go. The reason why I don't agree with it is because I do feel like Linda, yeah, she has a background in this, but I think the McMahon name has helped. And then, you know, the McMahons and the Trumps have been friends for so many years. So I think that also okay. plays a part in it as well. That's why. All right, Can Linda, I say ahead, something? Linda. Hold on, hold on. Can I say something? You didn't have a problem with nobody's name getting them where it was at when we was talking about motherfucking Bronny. Bronny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what? It helped. It, does, it still don't mean it? she ain't How qualified. Who didn't? I'm just saying. You said I didn't? Somebody didn't. Nigga, I was... I could have sworn me and him was on the same side. We just talked about it last episode when we were saying we wanted to see Bryce. I think that that's the reason we can't wrap the wrap the Bronny topic up is because we all agree, but we argue about it. He brought it up. <laughs> I, me and him was on the same page. Yeah, as he as he spir he has a spiraling decline. I think it's, we need to follow it like all the way into the dirt so you can get the proper just do you deserve. Hey, hey somebody owes my ass an apology. Fuck that. Nah, it ain't over yet. But hey, hey. what they? But, they, but wait, it ain't me. there's more. Hey, but wait, there's more. <laughs> oh shit. Be smart. This alkaline why? That is fucking. Right, we'll go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and get Linda a shot. Then go ahead. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm well, saying, man. Get Linda as qualified a shot. as she may be, she might she might not have, um, our the general public's you know interest in mind when she goes in there and tries to dismantle the board of education from the inside. But she might be qualified to be in the position. And you know what? <laughs> On some real shit, for as much as she probably said that the McMahon name helped in the beginning, I bet you that motherfucker hurt now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just what you mean? 
politically. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm going to say it politically. Into the White House. She didn't get Trump into the White House. Well, just the stigma of the whole situation is similar. You know what I mean? Like Trump ain't getting crucified like know, Vince bro. neither, though. But Vince ain't either? Bullshit. Shit. Shit. Trump, who's doing anything to Vince? When was the last Trump time literally the most loved, most hated motherfucker. They, 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 they building the a Diddy case on that man. They, they ran yeah, Trump. But they ran Trump up out of here. Can't control I mean, himself. McMahon, he sold all his shit. Nigga, Trump dropped his nuts on the world when they gave him hey. them felonies. Vince yeah, literally yeah, yep. sold all his shit and got little. Yeah, yep. so, yeah. twice. So let me just say this. Came back just to help sell some shit to if TKO. She, if she do become, well, she is now the Secretary of Education. If she's one of them ones that try to take slavery out the curriculum in education. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, then y'all come back and holler at me, whoever was vouching for this bitch. Hello. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not vouching for her actions. I'm vouching for her qualifications. Me too. Yeah. Listen, though, that's at the I'm same time, it. I can dig it. For we can't count out. Ain't no pol- politician we gonna agree with a hundred percent. But just like for everything we don't like Trump about, it's gonna be some good that come out, especially for business owners and shit. Yeah, yep. If you on some hustle shit, if you on some entrepreneur shit, if you on some shit like that, you got a strong case. That it's about to be that time yeah, again. Yeah, my thing is like don't. it's cool, like I, cause we all human. You know what I'm saying? I don't sit up here and expect you to just be the president twenty four seven. You know what I mean, or what have you. Like, but don't show your ignorance to the people. You know what I mean? Like, shit, do what the fuck you do on your downtime. You know what I'm saying? But. Motherfucker be on the job. Shit. It's all this shit. It it's the integrity of the position. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit done got out of hand, bro. Yeah. Like real talk. I ain't gonna lie, if you in any position of leadership, I commend you because I be trying to run this shit and this shit is <laughs> turning me gray. <laughs> God. And I ain't perfect. Perfect is that I know I ain't perfect, but I do a lot of good too, though, right? Uh huh. All right, I would like to think so. Guys. You know what I mean? <laughs>